Welcome back. This is our first video about working with the punch tool in a sheet metal design environment. Let's start by creating a primary plate. Here's our rectangle. Let's dimension it. Let's say 70 millimeters on this side. Accept. Let's press escape to exit the tool. Now let's select these two lines and apply an equal constraint. And finish the sketch. We're back on the sheet metal tab. Let's activate the face command. The profile I just created is pre-selected. Let's click accept. Now before we activate the punch command, we need to create an insertion point. So let's do that. Right click, new sketch. And I'll just place three points here. Here's my third. Let's finish the sketch. And activate the punch tool. Here it is on the modify panel. There's many ready-to-go punch features shown here. The extension for this type of document is .ide. This is basically an eye feature. I'll select keyhole and click open. All three of my points now are pre-selected. Let's press down the control key. I'm going to unselect two of these. On the punch tool dialog window, we've got three tabs, preview, geometry, and size. On the Geometry tab, that's where we take care of, let's say, dangling geometry and, for example, change the angles. I'll change this to 45 degrees, and let's go to the Size tab. 